Ladies and gentlemen, guys and dolls, cats and chicks, you're listening to Viva ENT. This is Johnny, the Capo. I'm live in Seattle with uh, our radio show, Viva ENT. And I'm in here in the studio with my, my producer, Mr. It's Eric. C.C. Ryder. C.C. Ryder. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey, let me ask you a question, sure. Johnny, right off the bat. We, we've got a big show uh, today, but I think we've got a, enough time in this first segment sure. for me to ask you. Your nickname, The Capo. Yeah. How'd you get that? Uh, I think I gave it to myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you got to do it. If you've if you got a great nickname that uh, hasn't caught on yet, then give it to yourself. Why not? Yeah. Well, well, you know, I'm I've uh, been the owner of an entertainment company for you know over 20 years and mm-hmm. I've had a lot of people working for me, you know, either dealers, DJs or uh and you know, office staff and that type of thing. So, um I've always kind of like to been the boss of those companies and um Capo means boss in Italian. Oh, okay. See, I thought this was a musical thing. Because <laughs> uh, I think the capo means uh, from the top, doesn't it? Right. Pretty yeah, much. okay. So, capo. Yeah. So capo de capo means boss of all bosses. Oh, okay. <laughs> the big boss. That's right. Like you and Bruce Springsteen would have to arm wrestle or something if you came into contact. Probably. <laughs> for, the, for the title. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, I look like a boss. <laughs> I didn't ask for it. I just got it. <laughs> But, oh, very cool. <laughs> anyway, today we uh, s- excuse me as I get a sip of Sprite. Um, we have all kinds of things happening on our show today, and the first thing that's going to happen is you're not going to believe this, but um, we have the Tacoma Opera um, point of contact on our show today. His name's Noel. Interesting. Yeah, normally we cover rock and roll on this show, but uh, we are not opposed to other kinds of music for sure. <laughs> Correct. Now, here's the here's the thing. I have never been to an opera. How about you? I I can't say that I have. I mean, I've seen uh, video footage and or heard recordings, but uh, never done the live experience. But uh, my understanding is that the Tacoma Opera is uh, is very well done, very professional. Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're top of the line, no question about it. Um, so anyway, uh, I have never been to an opera, but I love opera. I mean, I like watching it on TV, and I like everything about all the dramatic performances and <laughs> all the crescendos with the right. music and the voices and and, and the excitement. And, Interesting. Interesting. Um, yeah, I, I never would have pegged you as an opera fan, but I, uh, actually, I am. We learn something it. new about uh, each other every week. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, it's kind of like a, it's it's like a big production. Yeah, it's no, a, no, no. almost kind of like a Vegas show, Vegas show in a way, because um, the opera is is a play, it's musical. Sure, it's a big production. Right. So that's what I think I like about it. Okay, well, yeah. very cool. So we're we're looking forward to talking to Noel uh, from the Tacoma Opera. That's right. That's coming up after the first break around uh, 5, uh, 18 or so. Something like that. So now, second guest today is is uh, a guy that uh, is was on the show last week, and he's really a happening type guy. And when I say that, I think he had mentioned last week, Eric, that he had his own uh, YouTube uh, channel which I'm going to ask him about today. So uh, I think he's an interesting guy. Um, he's a, a, a promoting type, uh, entrepreneurial type guy that likes to make things happen, especially in sales. And right. sales is uh, the type of thing that uh, uh, it's, you know, when you're a salesman and you're making sales and, and, and you're creating business, uh, it, it's a magical thing. It really is. You know, it, it's a, there's a lot of electricity to it. 
there's a lot of electricity about it. So I'm happy to have Jake from Volkswagen of Puyallup on the show today. And, uh, of course, our new sponsor, Mr. Tom Brudnick from... Sunset 190 that, that's in Edmonds. Right. Very good. 190 Sunset, Sunset 190. Oh, yeah, 190 Sunset. He'll, yeah, he'll I like, flopped it there for a second. He'll like it either way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 190 Sunset in Edmonds, which uh, looks amazing. Yeah, and, and I'll tell you what. I was there last night. I had dinner. And, of course, the food is always spectacular there. Service is great. Uh, the uh, waitresses and the waiters and the bartenders, second to none. And uh, uh, last week, Tom was talking about the big deck out there. So last night when I went, it was the first time that I actually saw the double deck expanded, and it's impressive. I don't think there's a deck that size anywhere in Seattle, or I'm mean, excuse me, in Edmonds, or even in Seattle, that looks that cool. It's really, really, really cool. So, anyway, he'll he'll be on the show today, and also, uh, you know, we haven't said much about Elvis in the last uh, several weeks. Have you noticed? Well, we've been busy with, with lots of good stuff, but uh, yeah, that's that's true. No, normally, Elvis is uh, one of the topics of conversation. Elvis, Elvis my <laughs> man, of course. Um, so, uh, I just read recently on um, uh, on the. I, mean, I just heard, you know, through the publications and so on and so forth, that uh, Tom Hanks is producing a, a, a Elvis type movie. And you know Tom Hanks is a pretty serious guy. Is this going to be a, a biopic or is this? I, th- uh, I think it's a movie. Can you get some on the internet with it real quick? I'll, I'll see what I can find. But uh, I think that Tom Hanks is going to play Colonel Tom Parker, which is kind of trippy, if you know what I mean. Yeah, you know if you if you watch uh, the movie That Thing You Do, he plays a uh, music manager for the Beatles sixties. Not not for oh, the Beatles, right. but for a fictionary, uh, a right. fictional band right. uh, called the Wonders. Right, uh, and he is uh, right. basically their their record label uh, liaison and manages them throughout the movie. So he's got a little bit of experience uh, in definitely in playing music managers. Yeah, that was kind of a a slight uh, parody on uh, the success of the Beatles, uh, for sure. That movie, don't you think? Yeah, but more more uh, about like a one hit wonder uh, oh. band. Oh, uh, really? You know, from America. So oh. you know, it, it was definitely set in that time period you know, where the Beatles were dominating. But uh, this was kind of a, a a fictional thing for sure. But I a, a very fun movie that I. It's one of those ones where anytime it's on TV, I yeah. end up getting sucked in for about an hour <laughs> watching that. <laughs> but yeah, you're right. Uh, Tom Hanks in talks to play Colonel Tom Park- Parker. Okay. And uh, Baz Luhrmann, I guess, is going to be producing this Elvis movie. So that'll be interesting. Well, the thing is that uh, I heard that uh, the rumor is that Adam Lambert is going to play the king. Interesting. That could be interesting casting, yeah. casting mm-hmm. for sure. And I think that uh, uh, he's currently playing Freddie Mercury. <laughs> correct. Right. <laughs> Not literally playing him, but he is fronting Queen at the moment. By, uh, by the end, on tour. Yeah. <laughs> by the end of his career, he'll play Prince. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe. <laughs> anyway, you know, uh, I'm not real familiar with uh, Adam Lambert. Uh, I know. Uh, uh, I know my nephew is is a big. Wasn't he an American Idol guy? American Idol guy, uh, uh, and then uh, when I, you know, now he's doing the Queen thing, but I saw him on a special that um, uh, was dedicated to Elvis uh, about three or four months ago. Blake Shelton was the host, and it was a salute to the Elvis '68 comeback special, and Adam Lambert sang. I think he's saying all shook up or something like that. Oh, no, he's saying blue suede shoes. And he literally kicked ass. And I was, like, blown away. And his look and his persona, uh, I said, okay, yeah, all right, I see. I see it. 
I see why this guy's uh, made such a big splash. So, I don't know if he has been cast yet for the role or he has accepted it, but I know he's in contention to play the game, man. Cool. Or it could be somebody else. This is still speculation. These are still very early days on uh, putting this movie together. But interesting that uh, Baz Luhrmann uh, looks like he'll be the director. Uh, He did uh, The Great Gatsby. He did Moulin Rouge and uh, a bunch of other... Uh, you know, very kind of quirky, big, colorful musical movies. So, cool. so yeah, that was good, man. That could work pretty well with the Elvis thing, especially like the Vegas years. I could totally see that. And you know the uh, the last movie that uh, came out about Elvis, uh, Elvis and Nixon, and uh, Kevin Spacey played uh, uh, Nixon, and um, they had a, a, a gentleman. I'm not sure his name, but I, I, I the movie didn't do really well. I don't think. Uh, and um, uh, the guy that they cast to play Elvis, I, I don't, I don't, I, I think he, he, he did it the best he could. But I wasn't really crazy about, about the guy playing, playing the part. Do you remember the Elvis TV show that yeah. uh, was? That was. I want to say early nineties yeah. or late eighties. I can't remember who the actor was that played Elvis. It was the young Elvis. It was uh, Michael Gerard, I think is his name. That guy was really good. He was really good. Gonna have to do some research on what happened to him because uh, I enjoyed that show quite a bit. Well, actually, uh, uh, he was handpicked by Priscilla, and uh, the series did really well, but it debuted against uh, uh, on the other time slot. Uh, on the other network was The Simpsons. Oh, there you go. That so, <laughs> makes uh, it tough. <laughs> yeah, and so The Simpsons became a, uh, what do you want to call it, Eric Icon? Uh, yes, yeah. TV icon. And uh, in the in the series, the Alva series was just excellent. You can see it on YouTube. Uh, I, I thought it was great. Uh, I think it was critically acclaimed and all that stuff. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and catch some of those episodes again because I remember when it was first on. Mm. Well, that was a while ago, so you know, memory's YouTube. a little bit fuzzy. YouTube will uh, take you one, two, three. Quick word from our sponsors, then we're going to get Noel from the Tacoma Opera. All right, as we go to break, we'll hear a little bit of blue suede shoes well, from it, both uh, the King and Adam Lambert. I, I like it. Attention business owners, experience a new world of business with Barter. The Saturn Barter Company, located in Tacoma, is one of the most beneficial business decisions you can make. Using Saturn Barter, you are able to sell your products or services to other members of the exchange. You can then use that credit you've built up from your sales to purchase the products or services you or your company needs from other companies within Saturn Barter, all without the use of cash. Contact and join Saturn Barter Club today, 253-212-9930 or online at SaturnBarter.com. Life's a celebration. Grand Event Rentals makes your event their top priority. They're your full service, special event, and party rental provider, supplying everything you need from start to finish. Their professional sales team and event staff work with you to create your dream event. With every event, Grand Event Rentals customers' needs are the most important. Whether you're planning an intimate outdoor wedding or an elaborate black peg gala, the Grand Event Rentals specialists make great pride in providing our event planning experience to help create an unforgettable event. Please go and visit the Bellevue Showroom, Grand Event Rentals, or make a one-on-one appointment. Talk to them. They're trained, they're knowledgeable, they're event specialists, and they are going to take you through step-by-step everything that you need to make your day a success. Call Grand Event Rentals. Their number is 425-462-7368 or go to GrandEventRentalsLaw.com. Where do you go when you want great food in Edmonds? 190 Sunset. 190 Sunset is the place for perfect small plates featuring ahi poked nachos, fresh halibut tacos, lobster and crab dip, and of course, wings and sliders with an award-winning bar and outdoor patio dining. Where do you go when you want the best cocktails in Edmonds? 190 Sunset. 190 Sunset is a renowned waterfront restaurant with a relaxed atmosphere, offering delightful fare for brunch, 
happy hour, dinner, and cocktails crafted with great care. All set within a family-friendly, locally sourced restaurant not too far from Seattle. They're available to book for business meetings, wedding rehearsal dinners, parties, receptions, and more. Where do you go when you want the best happy hour in Edmonds? 190 Sunset. According to the Seattle Times, 190 Sunset is one of the best happy hours in Snohomish County. Stop by to enjoy craft cocktails, fresh seafood bites, and more. Visit themarket190sunset.com to make a reservation to check out the menus or see pictures of their beautiful location and amazing food. 190 Sunset in Edmonds. Wherever you go, Alternative Talk 1150 is here for you. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and dolls, cats and chicks, you're listening to Viva ENT. This is Johnny the Capo. I'm live in Seattle with my co-host, Mr. Hey, it's Eric C.C. Ryder. C.C. Ryder. And my special guest from Tacoma Opera, my pal, my good buddy, Noel. Say hello to Seattle Bellevue. Hey, how are you doing, folks? <laughs> great. We're doing great. It's a pretty nice day today, and we're, we're live in Seattle. No, you know, yeah. I, I, before you came on the show, I I was talking to my co-host, and I and I told him I love opera. I mean, I I, I love it, but I've never been to one. And then I <laughs> right, and I seen them on TV, and, and, you know, in in the movies and stuff. But and and yeah. Eric Eric's never been to one. So please tell our listeners about the opera. Oh, I sure will. Please. First of all, I, I want to just say that you're not unusual. Opera is one of these uh, art forms that that uh, people know about, but they don't always uh, get a chance to experience it. So, but it's it's frankly, I've been in opera for over forty years, oh. and uh, I love it. And uh, it's it's a great art form. You know, a lot of people think that it's really kind of uh, stuck up and hoity-toity and all that, but you know, it's not. It's not. It's just a real in-your-face. Uh, you get a chance to see a good story and and right. hear some absolutely fabulous music. So uh, it's a great experience, and I love it. I absolutely love it. So I don't know. Let's see. What else do you want to know? I you know, with Tacoma Opera has actually been around for over fifty years. Right. Not that many people know about Tacoma Opera, but we've been here for right. a long time. Cool. And uh, the one thing I like about Tacoma Opera, actually the one thing I love about Tacoma Opera, it's about the least hoity-toity, uh, <laughs> you know, snooty kind of opera company that I can imagine. You know, it's it's we got people come to the shows that are uh, dressed in jeans and T-shirts and... I had, uh, last year I had one one of my um, best patrons. It was uh, showed up in shorts and a Hawaii shirt. You know, I, we don't care about that kind of stuff. You right. know, that's really we just want people to come and enjoy the shows. So, where is uh, the Tacoma Opera f- Opera performances going to be? Well, uh, we we perform in in downtown Tacoma at uh, Tacoma Arts Live. It used to be known as the Broadway Center. Uh-huh. And the Broadway Center had, or, it has three theaters, and uh, we operate in two of them. Um, the one is the Rialto Theater, and that's where our fall show is going to be and our spring show is going to be. And then we, and the winter show is going to be in the, in the big, well, not so big, but uh, the larger 1,200-seat uh, uh, Pantages Theater, Very which has cool. been newly renovated, brand spanking, well, not brand spanking new, because it was built in 1918, but, you know, totally new seats, uh, totally new auditorium. Cool. It's, it's really beautiful looking right now. That sounds great. And, and and I understand that the season is coming up, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. We start in the fall. Uh-huh. We have a very typical uh, opera season. We do a uh, uh, show in the fall, uh, late, o- late October, early November, 
and then we have our big winter show in uh, February, and then we do a, uh, a lighter um, uh, spring show in April. Very cool. That that sounds great. Yeah. So, how many uh, total performances is it off the top of your head? Well, we do we do three performances of, of each production. Uh, 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 we open on a Saturday, and then there's a Friday and a Sunday performance the next weekend. Oh, cool! And we've got a, a great lineup. I'm I'm really excited about next season. I can tell you about the shows if you want to hear. I want to hear all about it, of course. Oh, cool! So, um, at any rate, in the fall, we we do we do pretty mainstream operas. Uh, the fall will be a comedy. An Italian comedy called the, the the English title is called The Elixir of Love, and it's about a a, a simple country farmhand who falls in love with the uh, the rich farmer's daughter, <laughs> and he, he he's not too clever. He he buys a bottle of wine from a, a, a traveling salesman uh, who who you know pawns it off as a magic elixir. And he gets drunk, and and then all of a sudden, now all the girls fall in love with him, and and eventually, the the uh, the girl he loves falls in love with him too. So I mean, it's it's a fun story. It's got a lot of uh, uh, good comic um, turns and twists and turns, and so that's a good one. And then in the winter, we're doing <laughs> first, one of the first great of all... operas of all time <laughs> called Tosca by. Uh, uh, Giacomo Puccini, also uh, an Italian opera. Very cool. Yeah, it is. It is cool, and it's one of the best known operas, and and it's a great. Uh, it's one of these operas where everyone dies. I have to, you know, I admit it, you know. But uh, <laughs> that's what that's what everyone that's what people do in opera. You know, they sing their guts out, and then um, they die at the end because <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's just the way it is, it's particularly with the serious operas. But it, it's a love triangle about um, uh, a, a painter who is also a political activist, and uh, the lead, the Tosca, is a, a famous opera singer who who loves this painter, and and then the corrupt uh, police officer loves Tosca, and he's the one that tortures the painter and the political activist, and anyway, they all they all end up dying in the end. But it, there's some just absolutely fabulous music that um, that uh, is is played and sung throughout the whole opera. It's one of the best known operas of all time. Wow. And in the spring, we're doing a, a real, uh, real sweet uh, Gilbert and Sullivan uh, operetta. Cool. called Iolanthe. It's it's based on a bunch of how well let's see what's it it it's based on uh, the. You know the Little Mermaid story? Yes. The movie. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's kind of it's it's kind of based on that. It's about uh, a bunch of fairies who meet <laughs> um, uh, a bunch of lords in the House of Parliament, and you know total chaos reigns. So, um, but it's a lot of fun. It's an awful lot of fun. Sounds like I want to come to every 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 opera you have. Well, you should. I, wow, I just and might. everybody should really. You know, it's it's. Opera's fun. It really is. I mean, it's it's great music. It's live entertainment, and um, you know, it, when it goes well, it can't. I well, I'm a sucker for it, so you know, I'm, of course, <laughs> I'm going to say this. But when it goes well, there's it. Nothing beats it. It really is. I love it. I I, I think I love it myself. As a matter of fact, uh, uh, whenever I see it on TV or in the movies, I go, "Hey, that's 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 cool stuff, man." Yeah, and you know, we, on TV and in the movies, you hear, uh, you know, music from opera all the time. Right. You really do. Mm-hmm. You know, I can think of uh, uh, Shawshank Redemption is a great film that has some wonderful opera music in it, uh-huh. and uh, you know, all sorts of films. You hear it in the elevator all the time too. <laughs> yeah, you know, it, it's, it's great it, tunes from opera. It's everywhere, and, and it's, it's still popular. Or. or is popular, no question about yeah. it. So, uh, do you, does uh, Tacoma Opera have a Facebook? Oh yeah, we do. Can you uh, tell our listeners how to get there? Um, well, 
I'm not a, I'm not a, 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 a you're not really, the Facebook uh, person, up to date <laughs> Facebook kind of person, but it's, you know, it's our Tacoma, Tacoma Opera. Opera.com is the, is the website. website. Cool. And I think it's Facebook at, at Tacoma Opera. I, I don't really know. You'll have to talk to my marketing person about that. Well, I, I'm, I, I'm sure. I'm a little old fashioned that way. Yeah, me too. I'm sure if, if you put in uh, Tacoma Opera in Facebook search engine, you're going to find it. Yeah, by the way, it's, it's just... Yeah, no, no, you would, yeah. And the other thing I want to say is, uh, uh, you know, our our ticket prices are really reasonable. Oh, yeah? So we go from like uh, 25 bucks all the way up to uh, uh, about $90. And so, you know, we, we believe that opera should be for everybody. So that sounds uh, right. we want to make sure that we keep our prices... Uh, our ticket price is uh, reasonable, and heck, anymore it's hard. Almost you, you know, twenty five bucks. You can't go see a movie anymore for that. That's right. No, it's been a pleasure to have you on the show. So, what's the website? One more time. It's uh, TacomaOpera dot com. I want to have you back on ASAP. Uh, we're running a little bit out of time. Thank you for being on the show. No. Hey, it's been great. Thanks for inviting me, and thanks for having me. Oh, it's more than a pleasure. <laughs> Thank you, No. Okay. Bye-bye. And again, TacomaOpera.com, or if you want to find the Facebook, it's Facebook.com slash Tacoma Opera. Very cool. we got our concert calendar coming up in this break. Oh, cool. And then we've got more guests. We'll have to put the Tacoma Opera up on this concert calendar. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll try and squeeze it in in the okay. future, yeah. All right. Stay tuned for Viva ENT. I love it. Welcome to the Biba ENT concert calendar for another week. This is not a complete list by any means of all the concerts happening around the Puget Sound, but just a bunch of shows that we think you'll like, and it's our way of helping to promote live music here in Western Washington. Tonight, Indie Legends, The Ocean Blue at the Crocodile. Friday, June 28th, it's our very own Johnny and the Bad Boys live at Volkswagen of Puyallup. June 28th, Jeff Lynn's Electric Light Orchestra at the Tacoma Dome. Saturday, July 6th at Numo's, it's Electric Six. July 12th, Queen fans, check out Queen with Adam Lambert at the Tacoma Dome. Thursday, July 18th, the Showbox presents the Raccoon Tours featuring Jack White of the band The White Stripes. Tuesday, July 30th, the Psychedelic Furs teaming up with James at the Showbox. Friday, August 9th, it's our very own Johnny the Capo and the Bad Boys at the Edgewater Hotel. Thursday, August 29th, The National with special guests always. That's at Mary Moore Park. Put a little something in a lemonade and take it with us, put it half away in a face. The Washington State Fair is bringing some great acts to the Puyallup this year. Billy Idol performs on August 30th at the Puyallup. Weezer on September 1st. And the Beach Boys, Monday, September 2nd. September 4th, it's the legendary Seattle band Heart performing at the Tacoma Dome. That's it for this week's Concert Calendar. Be sure and tune in again next week to Viva ENT for more. And we'll see you in the crowd. This is Johnny the Gangster with Viva Productions, King of Entertainment. One-stop shop for all your entertainment needs. We have DJ service for weddings, corporate, and private events. Throw your guests with Vegas Nights Casino Party, Blackjack, Craps, Roulette, 
poker, and more. We also have event photography and limousine service. Call Viva Productions, 206-542-5733, or find us at viva-productions.com. A little less conversation, a little more action, you got it. Call Johnny the Gangster, I'll make you a deal you can't refuse. Brides, do you want your big day to be stress-free, perfect, and stay within your budget? Well, Brides Club has all the inside information to make your dream a reality. Go to bridesclub.com. That's bridesclub.com. See upcoming bridal shows and events, view wedding vendors and special offers. And don't miss The Spotlight, the premier online wedding magazine with valuable articles you can't afford to miss. Brides Club helps make your wedding stress-free and perfect. Go to bridesclub.com. Check out bridesclub.com. Conversation you won't find on the rest of the dial. Alternative Talk 1150. Ladies and gentlemen, guys and dolls, cats and chicks, you're listening to Johnny the Capo. I'm live in Seattle slash Bellevue. This is Viva ENT. I'm here with my producer, Mr. Hey, it's Eric C.C. Ryder. Eric C.C. Ryder, my favorite producer of all time. And our special guest right now is Jake from Volkswagen of Puyallup. Jake, say hi to Seattle. Hey, how you doing? Uh, well, I, I'm doing great, and how about you, sir? I can't complain. Uh, excited. I'm really excited about a big event we're having tomorrow. Correct. So tomorrow is the big night. Uh, can you believe it's already here? Yeah, it seems like I was planning this a few weeks ago. And yeah, the days have just been clicking by pretty quick. <laughs> so tell us what's going on uh, about uh, our the event tomorrow night at Volkswagen of Puyallup. As a matter of fact, sure. uh, I know that it's going to be a big to-do, so tell our listeners all about it. Yeah, so first of all, I'm a, I'm a veteran. I was a cool. Marine for four years. And uh, I wanted to have an event, kind of a 4th of July free song, uh-huh. to kind of thank and honor veterans. Um, you know, we have a lot of freedom here in America that nobody else has. Taken for granted. Correct. And uh, I think that a lot of veterans, um, you know, they kind of fall through the cracks. And some of them struggle with their daily lives. And yeah. you know, some of them actually, you know, make the decision to take their lives. Well, you so, know, my, my thought is that uh, uh, the veteran is really dealt a... a, a uh, a, a hand of cards that uh, you know that uh, nobody else gets dealt. You know, uh, right. you know you uh, uh, y- y- you want to do the best you you can. You know, as a human being, but uh, does you know the general public don't ever think they're going to go to war or go out to those uh, places that uh, you know could be life changing forever. And you know, I I, I salute the veterans. To the max, uh, uh, if if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, so we're having a gathering here to be here, and it's going to be geared towards honoring veterans. You don't have to be a veteran to attend, but we're going to have, I'd say, probably seventy percent of the people here will be veterans. Cool. All services, and, and uh, we're just going to have a lot of things going on. We're going to have a band, right? Uh, which I believe you are a part of. That's correct. Uh, the entertainment is Johnny the Capo and the Bad Boys. Yep. So playing classic rock covers in our service drive. So it was a big cover kind of carpool garage. Cool. Um, we're going to have some casino style gaming. That's so correct. A blackjack table and a red table. That's right. We're going to have a war movie playing in our line. Uh, I believe it's Big and Private Ryan. Very so, cool. <laughs> You know, there'll probably be 20 people sitting around watching the movie. That's cool. Um, we're going to have a food truck uh, providing some really good drugs, food stores, and uh, and stuff like that. I know that you're going to have food there, too. What's going on with the food? And Hey, hey hang on. Uh, Jake, we're having trouble hearing you, so if maybe you can move uh, to a, a better location for your signal sure, there. Yeah, you're dropping out. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a food truck. We're going to be serving some really good 
pulled pork and street tacos and stuff like that. Cool. Uh, and then uh, we're going to encourage everyone who attends to be dressed. You know, top to bottom in red, white, and blue. Right. You know, the best the best Murica costume is going to have a chance to win a really awesome prize that was donated by a local business owner. So it's a barbecue, a big <laughs> bag of charcoal, Great. a fist of Jack Daniels, and some other stuff. You know, a couple of t-shirts, some American flag socks, uh, just kind of a bundle of cool Americana. Yeah, that'd be perfect for Fourth of July. So if whoever you want has that. the best, the best red, white, and blue costume will win that. And then, uh, of course, the main reason for the event is we're going to collect donations for the prevention of veteran suicide. That's excellent. That is excellent. So it, it's a fundraiser um, uh, party uh, slash uh, appreciation night for ver- veterans. You're going to have uh, live music. You have casino tables and. and didn't you tell me last week you're going to have some uh, chiropractors there doing adjustments and stuff? Oh, yeah, yeah. So uh, the, the gentleman who donated the prize right. is a local chiropractor. He and his two brothers uh, own and operate Finlayson Family Chiropractic. Cool. So they are going to be here doing posture analysis uh-huh. and uh, you know offering some free expertise on you know, keeping your spine and your body lined up right. Very so cool. So they'll be here. Uh, we're going to have a gentleman who is a veteran who is a hypnotist. <laughs> so I guess he actually is able to use hypnotism to help people cope with some of their stresses and anxieties and kind of help them change some of their habits. Very cool. That that's uh, That's a good thing. Good thing. And then a couple other that are uh, related to health and wellness. So, uh, yeah, there's going to be a lot of stuff, a lot of variety here. And really excited that I work for a dealership that allows these kinds of things to happen. Because I've spent 12 years in the auto industry, and I'll tell you right now, most dealerships, they they want no part of an event like that. That's correct. Uh, basically, you know how business is and... Um uh, it just goes to show that uh, uh, Vol- Volkswagen of Puyallup uh, is reaching out to the community, uh, is putting some heart and soul into what's going on. I, th- I think it's fabulous. I, it's kind of a really cool story. And then, and then yeah. I get, and then I get a play for all those folks tomorrow night. Wow! That, yeah. That, that's, so, mm-hmm. looking forward to all of it. We're expecting a big turnout. I'm, uh, I'm going to have as much parking cleared out as I possibly can, but I definitely expect us to be near capacity. I'm expecting, you know, 140 plus people in my dealership tomorrow night. Very cool. So, and, and this is all going to be in the service uh, center or is that what it's called? This is going to be all throughout the store. So there's going to be stuff going on inside the store, uh-huh. outside the store, in the service drive. It's going to be spread out and there's going to be, you know, a lot of stuff to wander around and do. So, and, and people will be uh, get a chance to see the the, the latest cars and stuff. So oh yeah, that, everybody that, wants to look at cars. You know, this this event is not to sell cars. Right. We're not pushing anything like that on anybody. This just happens to be the venue where it's happening. But if you you know are in need of a car or know know someone who is, we can certainly get you the information and, and get you a test drive or any of that kind of stuff. So, I think I think it's a great opportunity for people to see Volkswagens. You know. Because, uh, uh, you know, everybody's fascinated with Volkswagens. We all know about them. And I bet a lot of people aren't really familiar with the new styles that you have. Yeah, well, and it's not just Volkswagen. So we have five stores here on the same property. So the Harness Auto family is okay. made up of uh, Volkswagen, Chevy, Buick, GMC, and Oh, my Chevy. God. So... I'm connected to all five of those brands. I'm able to sell all five of them. So spread out on this property, I have access to you know, over 1,500 vehicles. Oh, my. I had no idea, my friend. That's amazing. Sounds exciting, too. So uh, so tomorrow night, uh, festivities start at 7.30. And uh, sounds like uh, you guys are... Uh, uh, on your way to, uh, for a, a big, big, big night. 
Yeah, I think so. I've gotten a lot of good feedback on this. I've gotten confirmation from quite a few people. Cool. And uh, I don't think they're going to leave me hanging. So I have no doubt this is going to be cracking. Well, last week uh, when you were on the show, I think that uh, you had mentioned, well, I, I don't think, but I'm sure that you mentioned something about your own um, YouTube channel where you did your promotions and stuff. Oh, yeah, so I uh, I take a car just about every day. I do a test drive review on it. I interview business professionals in cars. Cool. And uh, that is able for you can you can see all that content at your car guy jake just the little at symbol uh -huh. your car guy jake spell it out on google and it'll take you right to my page and uh um, that's cool yeah you can follow my content i'm trying to uh at some point down the road be a professional car reviewer actually it sounds like you're on your way now <laughs> <laughs> so um jake um uh we're down to about uh 60 seconds. Tell our listeners the website uh, to find you uh, uh, and, and everything, that, that Facebook, the whole nine yards. Yeah, yeah. So the event is at Volkswagen of Puyallup on River Road. It's 820 River Road in Puyallup. Featuring Johnny uh, and the Bad Boys. Yeah, go ahead, go Johnny ahead. and the Bad Boys will be there. We're going to we're gonna have a lot of festivities. It'll be fun, and it's for a great cause. So... Come on out, dressed in red, white, and blue, and uh, just be ready to have a good time. Sounds good, Jake. Other Thanks. That, Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for being on the show, and I can't wait for tomorrow night. I know I have a lot of people coming by, and uh, it's, it's an honor to be a part of it. Thank you. I appreciate it. We'll dig you now. See you later, man. Thanks. All right, stay tuned. More of Viva ENT coming up after this break. Cars. Attention business owners. Experience a new world of business with Barter. The Saturn Barter Company, located in Tacoma, is one of the most beneficial business decisions you can make. Using Saturn Barter, you are able to sell your products or services to other members of the exchange. You can then use that credit you've built up from your sales to purchase the products or services you or your company needs from other companies within Saturn Barter, all without the use of cash. Contact and join Saturn Barter Club today, 253-212-9930 or online at SaturnBarter.com. Life's a celebration. Grand Event Rentals makes your event their top priority. They are your full service, special event, and party rental provider, supplying everything you need from start to finish. Their professional sales team and event staff work with you to create your dream event. With every event, Grand Event Rentals customers' needs are the most important. Whether you're planning an intimate outdoor wedding or an elaborate black peg gala, the Grand Event Rental Specialists make great pride in providing our event planning experience to help create an unforgettable event. Please go and visit the Bellevue Showroom, Grand Event Rentals, or make a one-on-one -on -one appointment. Talk to them. They're trained, they're knowledgeable, they're event specialists, and they're going to take you through step-by-step -step everything that you need to make your day a success. Call Grand Event Rentals. Their number is 425-462-7368 or go to GrandEventRentalsLaw.com. Where do you go when you want great food in Edmonds? 190 Sunset. 190 Sunset is the place for perfect small plates featuring ahi poke nachos, fresh halibut tacos, lobster and crab dip, and of course, wings and sliders with an award-winning bar and outdoor patio dining. Where do you go when you want the best cocktails in Edmonds? 190 Sunset. 190 Sunset is a renowned waterfront restaurant with a relaxed atmosphere, offering delightful fare for brunch, happy hour, dinner, and cocktails crafted with great care. All set within a family-friendly, locally sourced restaurant not too far from Seattle. They're available to book for business meetings, 
wedding rehearsal dinners, parties, receptions, and more. Where do you go when you want the best happy hour in Edmonds? 190 Sunset. According to the Seattle Times, 190 Sunset is one of the best happy hours in Snohomish County. Stop by to enjoy craft cocktails, fresh seafood bites, and more. Visit themarket190sunset.com to make a reservation to check out the menus or see pictures of their beautiful location and amazing food. 190 Sunset in Edmonds. This is Johnny the Gangster with Viva Productions, King of Entertainment, one-stop shop for all your entertainment needs. We have DJ service for weddings, corporate, and private events. Throw your guests with Vegas Nights Casino Party, Blackjack, Craps, Roulette, Poker, and more. We also have event photography and limousine service. Call Viva Productions, 206-542-5733, or find us at viva-productions.com. A little less conversation, a little more action, you got it. Call Johnny the Gangster, I'll make you a deal you can't refuse. Brides, do you want your big day to be stress-free, perfect, and stay within your budget? Well, Brides Club has all the inside information to make your dream a reality. Go to bridesclub.com. That's bridesclub.com. See upcoming bridal shows and events, view wedding vendors and special offers. And don't miss the Spotlight, the premier online wedding magazine with valuable articles you can't afford to miss. Brides Club helps make your wedding stress-free and perfect. Go to bridesclub.com. Check out bridesclub.com. An alternative to everything else on your radio dial. Alternative Talk 1150. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, you listen to Viva ENT. This is Johnny, the capo. Uh, I'm live in the studio, uh, and I'm here with my producer, Eric C.C. Ryder. Eric, say hi to our listeners. Hey, everybody. And, of course, uh, we're playing a little bit of Cars by yeah. Jerry Newman because yeah. you're playing a show. Tomorrow night. <laughs> That's right. That's at, right. At uh, VW of Puyallup. Isn't that and, nice? Yeah. So you're yeah. going to be among all those cool cars. I didn't really really realize you know, that it was you know, going to be such a nice thing. Fundraiser for veterans and yeah. food and fun and all that stuff. How did he describe it as a pre-funk for the 4th of July? I like I pre-funk. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm a pre-funk guy. There's no question about it. So now, folks, uh, please come by tomorrow night in Puyallup, VW of Puyallup, and uh, we have my friend, Mr. Tom Brudnick from um, 190 Sunset online right now. Tom, say hi to Seattle. Hello, Seattle. All right. Hey, you know, I snuck in last night, and I saw the double deck. It's the first time that I've seen it like that. It's mammoth, isn't it? It's really, it's I, really, uh, I it kind of grabs you, doesn't it? How, it, it, how, how big it is. And not only that, you had all those cool, uh, uh, what do you call them, space heaters or... Whatever. Yeah, the, you know, patio heaters. Patio you know, heaters. We have the, and then we have the fire pits and the patio heaters and the umbrellas. We even got blankets, uh, right. Johnny, for when the sun goes down that we, we provide. We also got sunglasses, 190 complimentary sunglasses if you forget your sunglasses. Yeah. Niles is concocting world-class craft cocktails, and we're having some fun. I'm out here now. I'm talking to you from the deck. <laughs> well, you know what? That deck is cool as can be. I'll tell you, I, I couldn't believe the size of it. Yeah, it's it's ginormous. So clearly, we have the biggest deck in probably North Seattle at this point. Uh, and you know, Johnny, we're kicking off. Uh, we're kind of kicking off and christening the deck uh, on Fourth of July Eve. So on July third, yeah, we're going to have a really good, fun band here called Who's Your Daddy? Who's Your Daddy? And uh, that will be starting at seven p.m. And there will be a uh, that's kind of the christening of the uh, the summer deck. You know, um, I'm going to do my best to make it there. For sure, uh, I know that I'm going to Ocean Shores on the fourth for f- four or five days, but I, I'm 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 confident I'll be there on on uh, July third. That'd be terrific. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a blast, and we're cooking up we're cooking up ribs, uh, world class uh, real class uh, pork baby back ribs, cool. and uh, all the fixings and uh, ice cold beer, and of course, like I said, Niles is uh, our, our extraordinary yeah. talented bartender. He'll be concocting. Well, he's actually made 
a drink called, <laughs> if you can believe it or not, the <laughs> Double Decker. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> double Decker means double good. Double good. Double the fun. Double the fun, no question. So you got the big event on uh, July 3rd. And what is the uh, scenario on the, the new restaurant uh, uh, breaking in? Yeah, so we're in there now with my architects as we speak. Uh, you're talking about the expansion of our dining room. That's and, correct. Uh, we're taping everything out right now. And our goal, you know, our goal with any luck and, and permitting Johnny would be maybe even with any luck by the end of uh, end of July here. Oh, so cool. it's, it's, uh, it's cruising right along. That is, that is, I didn't realize it was going to be that quick. Well, we've been planning this for a long time. So I've ordered the, you know, I've ordered the furniture, I've ordered the carpet, all that stuff's been on order, just kind of awaiting uh, or taking over the space. And so it's, uh, it's, uh, it can be fairly simple. Well, you know, I, I got to tell you something, Tom. I've been in the service industry all my life. I started out as a busboy at the Mint Hotel downtown Las Vegas uh, when I was 15 years old. I know service when I see it, and I know bad service when I see it. And I know if the staff has been trained or, or if the staff is adequate uh, up to par, so on and so forth. I got to say that your staff at your place is second to none. Everybody's got a smile on their face. They're very conscientious. They watch the table constantly, which is, you know, great because you got to keep an eye. Is there a dirty plate there? Is there, you know, you have to watch the, the room. You have to watch the tables. And, and your well, staff is, you, is dynamite. You, I, I appreciate that, Johnny. And you and I have a lot, a lot in common. I started at the 13 Coins 40 years ago <laughs> as a dishwasher when I was cool. 14 years old. Very cool. And would work for that company that also owned the original El Gaucho. I would spend 10 years from the bottom to the top of that organization. There you go. And, uh, but to the point, my late, next company would be working for Rich Coleman uh, when he owned the original Restaurants Unlimited. And, and what I learned from Rich, he just hit on it, you know, is... is you hire good, right. you pay them well, right. and you treat them like family. Correct. Because only, only then, only then are they going to be able, expected, and be able to treat your guests like family. So you can't have one without the other, right? If you ain't taking care of your crew, then they're not going to be taking care of your guests at the level you expect them to. So it's all trickled down. It's what I learned from Rich, and, and uh, it, it served me well. So I appreciate those comments very much. Yeah, uh, uh, there's no question that... Uh... Uh, I uh, recently was at, I'm not going to mention the hotel, but uh, uh, I was at a place that uh, uh, I was just horrified by the service and, 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 and the attention and the whole nine yards. It, it, was, it, it was such a bad experience. I never want to go back. And I'm the kind of guy... I'm from Vegas. I, 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 I eat in all the gourmet rooms in Las Vegas, you know, up to about 1996. I know good service, and, and I'm out there spending my dough. I, I, I expect it in, in, in a certain way. I, I don't know if that's, uh, uh, you know, too demanding, but, uh, you know, you're going out, you're having fun. Uh, you know, you're, you're spending X amount of dollars for a nice bottle of wine. You want to have the good experience, so um, that's what I got to say about it. You're absolutely right. You know what? You can't have one without the other, right? And, uh, right. So now we think we've hit the trifecta here. You know, we think we've got a beautiful designed uh, restaurant. Certainly, we think anyway, the nicest restaurant in all of North County, and now the biggest deck in North County. <laughs> and so you've hit it. We've got some 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 great service, and we've got some great food. I'm really excited about our summer menu, Johnny, which I've. Uh, kind of describing as uh, more lighter and more playful and experimental. It's, uh, it's largely based on uh, shared plates and uh, heavy on seafood uh, cool. since we're on the beach here. Very and cool. uh, I've come from three generations of Alaska fishermen, as you know. So mm -hmm. my grandfather, I think you know this, my grandfather had the first fish market down in 1910 in Pike Place Market, what's now known as Pike Place Market, Rainier Fish Company. And uh, so we're playing up on my fish heritage, lots of seafood, lots of fun things, uh, I was playing with the mussels yesterday that a coconut saffron curry 
cool. uh, sauce that is just gonna just gonna be killer. <laughs> and uh, of course, we've got our legendary crab cakes. No one can come here without having our crab cakes. The Dungeness crab, almost no filler, and just delightful. But anyway, it's, it's fun, playful kind of kind of menu that just kind of you just keep ordering small plates. And uh, it, I think it's just going to be a big, big hit. Now, don't you have a salmon uh, dish uh, with the curry sauce? You know, we're do, we do salmon something different almost every 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 week. So uh-huh. uh, <clears throat> we're just taking whatever fresh seafood we can we can get at the time, and uh, it's kind of interesting. Uh, so we're using a small fleet of uh, co-op boats, nothing over sixty-five feet, Johnny, that go out on day trips. Right. And so, um, and all the all the fish is FedEx to me that that same same day. So. The fish that came in today uh, had a tag on it that was caught by the, uh, the seafood <laughs> vessel Viking with a with a with a crew of three at two a.m. Uh, yesterday and and came to my my door at ten thirty this morning. So Very cool. <clears throat> we're always doing something different and fresh with it, just trying to keep it mixed up. Yeah, I had a, a dish there a couple of weeks ago. I think it was a halibut dish in a, in a special sauce. And man, I was like blown away. I go, hey, I've never. That was it. our seafood stock. That, that that halibut dish you're referring to is yeah. my number one bestseller, and uh, it's it's really a seafood stock that we literally give it lots of love. It takes 24 hours to make that make that stock with all our fish bones and and uh, and whatnot. But it's a, it's something that is is a really nice base, but that beautiful piece of halibut sits atop that vegetables and and, and atop that beautiful stock. But it really lets, in my opinion, the protein shine. It really it doesn't take away or really uh, distort that beautiful fresh piece of halibut. So yeah, yeah. I remember you uh, you had that. And that's uh, one of our best sellers as well. Well, Tom, I hate to say it, but we're out of time. Um, well, let's get you back on again. Matter of fact, I think I, I should get you on for a half hour. Viva ENT, your host Johnny the Capo, yours truly. We'll dig you now and see you later. Cause you know what. You are fine, sweet potato.